Napir Nun Kanishni. May the love of God be with you all. This is Reverend John Marshall, founder of Elamite Interfaith Movement. I wish you a happy week ahead. Hope the last week was very wonderful. I prayed for you. We prayed for the Middle East especially. And this week also we will especially keep that in prayers. So let us begin. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, whatever the things that happened in the last week, let us offer everything to the holy feet of our Lord Jesus Christ who is here to redeem us to bring us hope, to give us everything. He has given us his life for us, our Lord Jesus Christ, and we are here in his name. And in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. And in the name of Jesus, we can do everything. Along with the intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Queen of Heaven and Earth, we especially join this prayer. Dear Lord, as we are going to pray this prayer, in this Elamite Interfaith Movement, we especially invoke all the saints of Elam. Lord, you are there and followed by your prophet Daniel, whose holy picture we are having. And then we have your picture, Lord, and then we have the pictures of the people of Rimsins dynasty. That is the Kudur Mabuk dynasty, which ruled Ur, the city of Abraham. So, keeping all this in mind, we will now pray Lord God Jesus Christ, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Father, thank you Father. You are the creator of everything, you are the creator of all. Lord Jesus Christ, you have made peace through your holy blood. You have made peace through your holy blood which for which you have shed for us in Calvary. Lord we thank you, Lord we thank you, Lord we thank you, Lord we praise you, Lord we praise you, Lord we praise you. With that same grace, Lord, we especially pray. We especially pray, Lord. We especially pray that there may be peace in the Middle East. Lord, we know how the situations have been escalating in the Middle East with Israel also retaliating against Iran. Now we fear that it might blown up into a full-blown war, Lord. We especially pray for the country of Iran. We especially pray for Israel also. We pray for Iran, especially, Lord, the all the Elamite, heritage related places may they be spared may they be also preserved lord amidst all these ongoing conflicts lord may uh, the things which have happened because of the isis extremism in the middle east may that say may not fall upon the elamite heritage sites lord as we are here lord if it is your will lord make the iranians also come to know their great heritage even before Persia, even before the Persian Aryan thing lies in the Elamites. Lord, help them to open their eyes to understand that, Lord, because you have promised, Lord, that you will restore the fortunes of Elam. May that same go to their hearts and their minds and may they become your witnesses, Lord. We especially pray that your strength and your will may it give us victory, may it Lead us more closely, Lord, to your holy place. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord, we especially pray for all the souls. We begin with the Kudur Mabuk dynasty. Lord, we pray for the soul of Rimsin, his brother Varadsin, his father Kudur Mabuk, his father Shilyak, and their sister of Rimsin, Enyadu, who was the high priestess in Ur, and all the other family members of Rimsin, as well as their everyone, their wives, their extended relatives, for all of them we now say that eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls rest in peace. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls rest in peace. Amen. Lord be with us. Lord be with us. Lord strengthen us. All the Elamite saints be with us. Prophet Daniel be with us. Prophet Daniel be with us, we especially invoke Mother Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you, blessed are you amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen dear lord jesus christ be with us be with us lord be with us and strengthen us and strengthen us strengthen us lord we make this prayer through christ our lord amen so dear friends have a blessed week ahead we are especially praying for you please pray for us too for more vocations to this order may god bless you all amen